Hi, this is Jessica Myers with Good Skin Waxing, currently waxing at the BD Lounge LLC in Valparaiso, Indiana. Um, I had such a good response from my last video about uh, what to expect when you're going to your wax appointment. I thought that I would make a video about what uh, post-wax home care needs to be done. So let's just jump right into it. By the way, the dog is running around out here, so if you hear something, that's him. Um, anyways. When getting dressed for your appointment, um, if you are removing clothing, um, I recommend you wear loose-fitting clothes. Same with um, if you're getting a bikini service done, you're going to want to make sure that you're wearing um, undies that aren't very abrasive, so no lace trim, no lace fronts. When you are waxed, there's a gentle exfoliation that happens, and so if you then put on abrasive underwear or abrasive pants, tight-fitting pants, it's going to cause too much friction and, and uh, you could cause some t irritation or tenderness. So loose-fitting clothes, um, comfy undies, I recommend for that for about 48 hours afterwards. Obviously, if you're getting facial waxing, you don't really have to do anything. Just come with a bare face. Um, so post-wax, what do we do? 24 hours, here are the don'ts. So for 24 hours after your wax, do not swim in a chlorinated pool. I don't want to introduce those um, heavy chemicals to your freshly waxed skin. Uh, no heavy exercise. We've opened up your follicles. Your skin is exposed, and when you're sweating, it creates bacteria, and uh, not to gross anybody out or anything, but we just we want things to stay as clean as possible. So no heavy exercise post wax for 40 or for 24 hours um, no deodorant if you're getting your underarms waxed also no makeup if you're doing facial services um, just give it 24 hours let everything kind of uh, recover after your wax let it breathe just be tender to your skin so 48 hours post wax the don'ts um, and I have a cheat sheet down here so I don't forget or babble like I am right now. Anyways, uh, 48 hours, I want you to stay out of the sun, so no sun exposure to the areas that you have been waxed on. Uh, no saunas, no steam rooms, no spas, no hot baths, no hot showers, nothing where you're introducing heat into any of the areas that you've been waxed. That doesn't mean you can't take a shower, just not super hot, just keep, keep it gentle, keep it gentle, keep it warm. All right, not uncomfortable, just not fire, okay? Don't set yourself on fire. All right, 72 hours. Now you're out of kind of like the zone of where kind of irritation can occur and whatnot. So after 72 hours, I want you to introduce exfoliation twice a week. If you are an oily person, three times a week. No more, okay? If you over exfoliate your face, your body, you can cause, um, a breakdown in your barrier function, which is the, what protects your skin, um, you could cause a host of problems. So once, maybe twice. Here's my dog. Um, or I'm sorry, twice, maybe three times a week, only for those who are very oily. And when I say exfoliation, what that means is you're removing it, the layer of dead skin that we all get on our skin twice a week. Um, for faces, I recommend you use a chemical exfoliant. I, for instance, I use a, a face wash that has retinol in it and that helps me with my fine lines that I've gotten in my late 30s and my early 40s. And, um, but it also helps to exfoliate and smooth the surface of my skin. Um, for the body, you can maybe use something a little bit rougher, I guess. Um, I am not a proponent of the uh, apricot scrub that everybody loves, it's far too harsh for your body. It causes micro, micro tears in the skin and can cause premature aging. So especially not on the face, and I really don't think it's good for your body. I would also steer clear of uh, salt scrubs, sugar scrubs, uh, poofs, harbor bacteria, or loofahs, or um, whether they're natural or not. Um, I'm okay with you using an exfoliating washcloth as long as it is laundered after every use. If they sit in your shower, whether they dry, whether you rinse them out, it doesn't really matter. Um, they're going to harbor bacteria and then what you do is you scrub off that layer of skin with a bacteria laden uh, 
exfoliating tool. So I don't, personally it doesn't sound good to me, so I don't recommend it for anybody else. Um, and then if post wax you experience some redness, um, hives are very normal. I just waxed my legs earlier today and I have hives. Um, and it's just our body's reaction to trauma. Um, Hives should go away within a couple hours, maybe half a day. Um, but if if the hives are bothering you, or if you have redness that's bothering you or irritation, um, I suggest a cold compress. And then also I have a host of um, products, fantastic Say Brazil products uh, that goes along with the type of wax that I use um, when I'm doing your services. So I can certainly recommend anything from our um, post wax suite. So, I think that's it. I think I've given you all the information. I will tell you, I have a special running for the summer months, June and July. Let's get y'all ready for your bathing suits, okay? So, with any bikini service, so that goes with a, b a bikini line. I've just added teeny bikini to my menu. A full bikini or Brazilian, you get 10% off for either June or July or you know, both. Anytime you book that service in June or July, you get 10% off. I'll be posting more about that later. But I hope this was informative, and I hope it wasn't too long. And if you need any waxing services done, please come see me. And you can find my phone number on the Good Skin Waxing Facebook or Instagram, and it rings directly to me, and I will book you up. I work Mondays, Thursdays, and Sundays. So, weird hours, but hopefully they work for you. Thanks for listening and watching, and I hope it was...